A secure safe to stash your long guns that doesn't weigh 6,000 pounds, coming up. What is up guys, my name is John with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. An integral part of responsible gun ownership is having a means to store your firearm securely when you're away. But many of us live in abodes that can't reasonably accommodate a 300 plus pound gun safe. Enter the Secure It Agile 52, a heavy duty modular safe that is every bit as secure as its heftier counterparts while retaining the ability to be moved around easily if needs be. You can check the description down below for links to both the Agile 52 and some of our other favorite safes as well. The Agile 52 ships in a pretty discreet plain brown box and arrives fully disassembled. The package weighs about 100 pounds and should be plenty easy for two people to move upstairs before beginning assembly. Or you could just do it yourself if you ain't a bitch. Here's one of our first gripes. The instructions are not very straightforward. They're certainly not impossible to follow, but some of the illustration and parts designations definitely leave a bit to be desired. But keep in mind, we're also the type of folks who become consumed with murderous rage while assembling IKEA furniture, so your mileage may vary. Additionally, Securit's only got a how-to instructional video for assembly of the earlier Gen 1 model of the Agile 52 for now. And while it'll sort of give you a rough idea about how to tackle this thing, be prepared to spend 30 to 40 minutes on assembly. Having a buddy on hand to hold a few elements in place is pretty damn crucial as well, particularly for the initial frame assembly and mounting of the door. That being said, this thing is solid. The Agile 52 utilizes steel locking bars that pull the steel walls together securely when tightened with the included screws. They are a bit of a pain to get aligned initially, but they do get easier as they begin to shape the safe's frame. All of the assembly hardware is actually inside of the safe itself, ensuring that tampering from the outside once it's built is essentially impossible. The Agile 52's keypad runs on a standard 9 volt battery but it does include keys if for whatever reason a manual override becomes necessary. Programming the keypad is a breeze, and the six digit combination provides an acceptable number of permutations, such as to keep nosy folks guessing. The keypad beep boops can also be turned on or off if you're one of those people, and I know that you know what I mean. For scale, the Agile 52 can hold this many oranges. The Agile 52 features Securit's cradle grid system on the rear panel which is essentially a modular backplate that allows for a good amount of customization when placing the six included rifle retention plates. Although not included, there are a plethora of additional parts bins that lock right into the cradle grid system as well, giving you a handy place to stash small bits and bobs or whatever. If you need to store pistols, the cradle grid system will accept specialized pegs that allow you to hang your handgun by the barrel. We cheaped out on those, so our pistols get to live in these poverty buckets. The safe's also got little foothole things that allow you to drill it into the floor if you're looking for a bit more permanent storage. And you can check the card on the screen for a link to our guide on how and where to bolt down your safe if you need a little bit of help. The Agile 52 is definitely sturdier than a gun cabinet and some of the other safes in the same category currently on the market, such as the stack-on safes that we started off with years ago. Obviously, it's not going to be enough to deter a team of determined professional burglars, but it is enough to ward off smash and grab attempts, and is a dope solution if your lifestyle dictates that you move around a lot, or if space in your apartment is at a premium. If that sounds like you, and you don't mind playing potentially frustrating adult Legos, we would definitely recommend taking a look at the Securit Agile 52. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for us today, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we've got lots more content on the way. Once again, my name is John with PewPew Tactical, and we will see you next time.